There we go. Alright, Dave being the resident piece and Keys, uh, Raven Keys pulling out the me brawler. Here we go. Classic, One, the classic PS2, PS2, I'm sorry. So like I said, I've never seen this player rating keys before, so I'm kind of interested. So I told you, he always pulls something good. I told you, oh my God. Anyway, first pull, this is ridiculous. Let's see what Dave does with it. All right, rating keys, having the awareness not to shield and doing the foot kiss, I'm not mad at that. Finally getting rid of that, uh, that Mr. Saturn. So that was a good strategy to kind of flip kick away from those that Mr. Saturn. But it looks like that's the only move. Going with the suplex. Nice tech read there. All right, Dave having a pretty good lead right now. Raiding keys off to the corner there. Flip kicking their way out of these combos, but still getting caught. And Trying to do with that up B and getting immediately punished with the back air. Not enough to kill, but that side is not going to be enough. It looks like, all right, we're going on the mic here. So far, yeah, Dave is kind of running away with this. What's up, Lee Ball? A little rap. Not much, man. So, so far, uh... Yeah, Dave's kind of running away with his rating keys, kind of side B off stage a little bit there. Let that one go. Oh, yeah. no. Excuse me, Cam Elsby. All right. I think this is the Cam Elsby. Is it? I think so. Doesn't look like rating key that much, to be honest. Yeah, it really doesn't. Oh, sorry, rating keys. Rating keys. So rating keys is kind of just flip kicking a lot. Wow, that. Okay. You could just nair through the shot put. I didn't, I didn't really know that. It's one of those like one hit projectiles. You can kind of hit it back. You shouldn't, but like you can. You, yeah, you can try. You yeah. shouldn't be able to. <laughs> Ooh, okay. They looking really good here. Yeah. Uh, These flip kicks, man. It's just flip kick after flip kick after flip kick. I want to see some ZSS out of Raiden Keys next game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you might, might want to pick oh, up. Yeah. The, and then Nair taking that? No. Yeah. You're dead, That's yeah. our early up B. I think he already used uh, the flip jump. kick, so. Yeah. Oh man, that was that was a quick one, quick one. That's how it is. I mean, I haven't seen Rating Key here before, so this could yeah. be one of their first tournaments. This is my first uh, time seeing this player, so yeah. I'm unfamiliar. I'm Dave. I've seen Dave for quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, Dave's but. been coming out again. Um, trying to get him to practice a little bit, you know. Kind of our resident Peach here. We don't really have any others. I th yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think he's he is the Peach. There's n there really is nobody else. I mean, we have we had some other Peaches, but they like don't show up anymore. There was yeah. one person named like Rose that I saw a long time ago. Maybe. I know we had Fast. Uh, okay. And then we had Joey. Okay. Two people uh, I'm not familiar with. Joey. Ours formerly known as Booty King. Uh, <laughs> really good Bayo. Oh. What's up, baby? Really oh. good Bayo back in Smash 4. Uh, gotcha. but, uh, yeah. I, I can't really think of any other Peach players from our region. But Dave. Uh, Dave, yeah, so Dave's holding it down for all the peaches out there. Yeah, and we are going to Kalos. Interesting pick. Uh, people are definitely have done here. So I did not see if Keys had the uh, combos unlocked. Whoa. I mean, so far, it's just flip this case. Is only B button. Yeah. I, I'm noticing that. It's uh, a lot of B button. Man, me, Brawler has some good A moves, man. You might want to hit that it's A button true. a couple times. A couple nares, a couple fares. Something. Definitely won't hurt. Uh, up here. Oh man, see that's how yeah. rating lost the first stock. So the thing about like Dave was kind of getting picked apart by these flip kicks in the first like minute, and then figured out that's all they're doing. It's one of those, yeah. And then figured, and then it's a runaway. I mean, <laughs> yo, <laughs> come on. <Jeez. laughs> Another one. I want to see. Uh, I want to see an A move actually. That's all I want to see. Just we one. haven't seen one. Oh my goodness, they're working though. Man, they're oh, yeah, they oh. are really laying yeah. on this A button or this B button. And this could be a six dog here for Dave. Uh, <laughs> it's looking like it. Yeah, I don't really know how you piece together a kill without the A button, Mr. Brawler. That, there's that one. One more. Ooh, <laughs> hey, caught that, him. that was nice. Oh, the down air. Okay. Nice. All right, Rainy Key's got Dave in the corner there, but Ooh. catches him with the up B. Dave in disadvantage. Wow, Raiden gives him so much room just to come back and side B. 156. Oh, he's combo here. Okay. Hey. B button only, Brawler, taking a stock. 
I'd love to see it. I, yeah, this is. I think I play like that. I play like. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> you button down. I really don't think Raiden Keys has hit the A button one time. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying. Definitely not this game. I didn't see last game. I'm trying to. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I would. Hey, <laughs> you gotta press the A button. It's stand. Ooh, wait. <laughs> Got something there. <laughs> you know, you think it's a fist pump, you think it's a handshake. What, what is going on? They went on? back for more. What I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's like that. You the flow of the handshake. Oh, my God. All right. All right, so I've, I got to. Play, I haven't played my round one. I, I skipped my round one to come up here Ooh. just to uh, commentate that. So Good I'll luck. be back after afterwards. Good luck. That was fun though. I like that. Yeah. So we got APK Journey versus Brock coming up. That is in center or versus. Oh, and we got Raiding Keys coming up on the mic. Welcome. Hello there, everyone. Hello. Get off. Whoa. Rude, rude. Rude, oh. Rudeness from Trapid Highlights. <laughs> okay, this is going to be an interesting match. It's um, APK J uh, Journey versus Bra. Yeah, that is, uh, this should be Rob versus Incineroar or Bayonetta versus Incineroar. Not entirely sure. Well, from, the matches, from the matches I've seen, they might just meme. It's a it's an early part of the tournament, so they might just meme. They could get away with it, maybe. Eh, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think that's what we're going to see here. Uh, are they the kind of players to do that or no? Nah, I, I don't think. Maybe Beth. Or APK Journey, my bad. Okay. APK Journey could be playing whoever. Bro will definitely play in Sonora, though. I've never seen Bro pick another character but in Sonora. Bro might be a random name. No. Bro plays in Sonora. Trust, trust. Okay. APK Journey, though, that's a new character every week. I'm not really sure who she's playing right now. What a PS2, the classic. Can't okay. have ultimate without PS2. Uh, okay. My bro, my Honestly, bro. we just have to wait and see. I can't really say anything Ooh. about the match until it happens. My bad, bro. I thought you were playing Incineroar. We got Toon Link and then Bayonetta. Toon Link so, and Bayonetta. Oh my, that is going to be interesting. So, I, you know, I, I didn't know bro had a Toon Link actually. And this is a different bro. I don't think that's true. I will see. So okay, let's go. Beth Bayo, more new to me, but definitely been seeing it in uh, most of the brackets she's been entering. Uh, but uh, again, never seen the brutes. Interesting. Okay, what combos we got here? I'm also curious if we see APK Journey take this, if there will be a uh, a switch of characters. But we're even right now, so we'll see. Okay. Little uh, little combo here by uh. Ooh. That's pretty. Cool. Okay, bail combos. What do we got? No Ooh. Ender. Uh, I believe didn't have the jump there. Ooh. Living. Okay. Oh, up tilt back air won't. Uh, won't sweet spot yet. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, Beth. APK Journey had that combo. Ooh. Getting top of the back air though. And there Bruh goes, there goes their first stock. Man, we'll see what Bruh can do to take this stock. Absolutely. Ooh. Something here? No, missed the combo. Ooh! And now they're in stock. Okay. This is going to be a very interesting set. Yeah, man. This is only the round one. Actually, I think these players are both pretty good for being round one. Yeah, I think. and I'm pretty sure they're... Do you think they played against each other before? I doubt it. I don't think uh, I talked to APK Journey a little bit before playing, and I don't think uh, she knew who Bra was. That I is, think they're pretty even, though. That is an unfortunate SD for Bra. Uh, yeah. And Bra is not someone we seek him out a lot, but they can make waves. So if you have APK Journey, uh, she just kind of is good and then does bad. I don't know how to describe it. It's good, but she can immediately switch up to being bad. It's like it's more like being bad. It's like you gotta play a specific, like you play a certain character, you know. You yeah. just really can't do it. But uh, ooh, see, Toon Link is definitely not one of those characters. Uh, oh, with that big up smash. Oh, oh, my. Okay. oh is that a combo? No. 
I think I think APK Journey is gonna win this set due it's, to that uh, self destruct. Even if they lose that stock, it's looking good so far this game. But you never know. They're kind of having sh uh, trouble getting combos on this last stock. Okay, Ooh, big combo here potentially. Oh. And now it's even stock, yeah, but it seems like APK Journey has the advantage, absolutely. Yeah, oh, And it seems here. like they are maintaining that advantage. Oh my, this is not a good fight for bro. This that is self-destruction did not do him well at all. This is true, however, you know, sometimes when you SD, you're like, I'd be winning right now if I didn't SD, so I'm just going to start winning, you know? You got to have that okay. mindset. He's got to lock in. That's true. Brock got a lock Ooh, in. It's back air. Oh, no guns. So close. Oh, nice. And that did not cost APK Journey the game. No, surprise. got around that bomb. Took it. And uh, now I'm curious if we'll see an Incinera switch or if this Toon Link is just Bruh's character now. We'll see. Maybe Bruh doesn't like Bayonetta and just wanted to uh, try some nail. We'll just have to see. All right, what do we got? I don't know if we had a uh, a change. In a, oh, we're going back to Toon Link. Okay. It is the same as last time, everyone. It is a Toon Link versus Bayonetta. This is super fortunate for Beth or APK Journey because APK Journey does not like Incinera whatsoever. <laughs> One of her least favorite characters in the game. Ooh, so this is kind of a, this is a weird stage for Bayonetta. Uh, I'm surprised this wasn't banned. Uh, no. It makes sense it wasn't banned, but this is a weird stage to get combos on just because of that uh, Smashville platform height makes it weird for upbeat to combo. Okay, go for the side B. Yeah, uh, APK Journey is a very side B heavy bayonetta, I've noticed. Uh, yeah, which is risky. That much is obvious. They are relying on that. But it seems like APK's journey that existed within the first match is not there anymore. Russ seems to be taking this and winning. Yeah, looking and really it, good. And it seems like APK journey is starting to recover from that. Let's see, oh, combo here, maybe? Oh. Okay, going for a little too much, a little too much. Hey, pivot grab. Okay. Bro. Still looking pretty solid on the stock here, but off stage, you die. Oh, unfortunate there for a good journey. Just like, kidding. I feel like Rush should have taken the opportunity to try and self destruct both of them. I mean, you should, you should have gone for a self destruct to kill her. Nah. I don't, I don't, if he I, has a stock above, that would have made total sense. It would have been good, but maybe just didn't see the opportunity. Bayo is a very hard character to actually edge guard. Oh, wow. Wait. APK oh, Journey. Oh, oh. Oh, doesn't get anything off that. Okay. APK Journey went for a wild combo this is here. Crazy. I'll say, APK Journey definitely has the combos. I don't like how they play neutral. He's playing neutral a little on. Yeah. Gotta say. Ooh, this could be bad. Oh. The little hit on the witch was up. All right, APK Journey here on ledge. That's this is how he saw Brett take the first stop. Back to go. Oh. Okay, Guns, we got so an edge yeah, guard. It's mostly even right now. Even stocks, even, almost even damage, and it seems it seems like seems like Bra is about to take the stock. But it seems like Bayonetta. It seems like APK will immediately take the stock after. All right. Yeah. Good. Uh, good get up attack. Uh, We'll see though, we're kind of trading blow for blow here. It is a yeah, even match caught the early up All right. Oh my. Oh, Bruh good roll read. take the stock as soon as possible, and he nice. did. That was a great oh roll read, bro. Oh, oh. Bail combos. Oh my. This is clearly not a fun game for them. For this, yeah, it's it's an even game, you know? Yeah, well, it's just an even game, not a fun one. I mean, he has a fun game. Yeah, that depends on it depends on your definition. Yeah, I don't know how either player feels about either character, but yeah. uh currently APK Journey. Uh sitting kinda in the driver's seat. Unfortunate bomb there for Bra. Oh, that, was, that one would have done massive damage if that hit. Probably would have killed. Yeah. yeah, actually. 
that probably probably would end ended that match, and that would make a 2-0, and that's a game. It's true. All right, APK we got down needs throw. to take this, or it's going to go to a third match. Come on. Oh, come on. I don't think APK Journey knew the uh, the proper response there to get the kill. Uh-oh, this is scary oh, here. No. Air dodges out. APK might tight lose this one. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh APK Journey had a really good catch on the side, but couldn't get anything off of that's dead. Wow. And there it goes. It's 2-0. Maneuvering oh, around the grab. Pretty even match, but ABK Journey was able to run away with it. And I'm being called to play my set. Okay, then go play your set. And thank you for coming. Okay, let's see who's next. We just gotta wait. Everyone, it is rating Keys 38. I was here on the stream first. First, I was uh, going against Dave and I lost, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be able to talk. Uh, reminder, please follow us on TikTok on TikTok.com slash at VGC Bootcamp. It is Little Ernie versus Coleman. I do not know much about both of these players, but these players, well, honestly, it seems like it's going to be an interesting match. If you don't know anything, it's going to be an interesting match any, either way. I'm soon to be called, everyone, so I will likely not be able to stay. Everyone, that is my call, so please just enjoy the match. Goodbye, everyone. I'll be back.
back. I'm moving on. Uh, we got Oje Wadler versus Konkidorf, which is actually a super hot set. Uh, both, I believe, here for the summer. Uh, yeah, Konki back from North Carolina. OJ is no good, so I believe. Back from JMU, maybe? JMU or CBA? So, wait, Konki, I actually just realized I was watching the first stock a little bit ago, and I assumed. <laughs> I assumed that Konki died immediately after getting hit by a straight up air. But, uh. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Are you? What is happening? Okay. Well, we're, we're out of that situation. But uh, one combo for Mario, low key. If we see one like up there here. This could be it. Oh. oh wow. Good forward air by OJ Wadler went out there for it. Oh. <laughs> Risky upbeat. Actually, everything this character does is risky. High risk, high reward. Ooh, got the roll. Clanky work. We got even games so far. Okay, and uh, we are playing neutral for sure right now. Ah, ooh, there we go. Okay. Uh oh. This is okay. OJ got out of there. That was so scary, though. <laughs> I thought for sure we were going to see a dead Mario. Ooh, oh, that could have been huge for OJ. Okay, we're back. Forward air won't hit. OJ's still threatening something off stage, though. Uh-oh. Oh, waited, too. Oh, Conky's taking the lead here. Oh, OJ is so scared <laughs> of this Ganondorf. Oh my goodness. Wow. Maybe not as scared as I thought he was. My fault, OJ. We are running away here. OJ playing so careful. Does not want to mess with Ganondorf. Yeah, man, it just backs off. Wow, this is... The Ganon effect is going bonkers here. Understandable. <laughs> Oh no, unfortunate there. That is Cuckoo's taking game one and join on console by distinct madness. Not in bracket, just here. Oh, you are? Nah, I'm in bracket. I'm just uh, waiting. I, I'm one of the losers waiting for JJ Realms to get called. I don't know why I didn't see it. Why are you in losers? Uh, I lost to Buga finally. I said it was his day. I got down, smashed, upbeat three or four times in the set. It was on me. That's how it is. I don't know, he didn't really do anything that impressed me, but he got me. He got my ass. I was rolling too much. So we just saw... Uh, I don't know uh, what OJ was doing there, bro. He just... He was playing so straight. Yeah. Now I have to go play. Uh, go! Tragic red for Super Fnatic. All right. So, on paper, right? Mario wins this one. But anybody that has to Scrabble Ganon, that means they got to Scrabble Ganon. Ain't nobody trying to Scrabble Ganon. <laughs> that character is hard to beat when you have to scrap with him, or at least a lot harder. Hold up, is he dead? Ah, uh, that could have been a that said, Mario hits him once, and you should die just like that. So, a bit of a two-way street here. Konkydorf, known Ganon believer. He thinks some crazy matchups are even for this character. I think he went for a... Uh, oh, no way. Okay, it's not over yet. Hold up, OJ's taking... OJ said, hold up, let me just kill you a bit. Oh, good read. Good, good, read. good follow. Uh, wait, okay, we're not done yet. Uh, neutral get up, God is... Oh god! Oh no, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought OJ got the gimp there. That was about to be spicy, but is he dead? Nope, cannon heavy. Good DI. Fireball in air. Yes, sir. Keep it going. Back air. Oh, you died! You DI'd in and then you DI'd out! I get it though. You try to correct your DI just a little too late and you get the worst DI possible. Down air. No back air combo, just a little sloppy. Okay, the world's latest falling back air of all time. Ooh, up air. Okay, we're catching the air dodge. Nair. Right, we're just ripping up. Dang, Kongidor, not scared. I guess that's just kind of his vibe. He kind of can't be scared, but I don't know. Are he dead? Not yet. 
This is what I would expect from Mario, right? You just, you just do the stuff and it just dies. It is just that simple. Oh, I gotta go. Mario wins! Stop the battle!
Oh my god, yeah. we're live. Yep. It's we're on. Oh, <laughs> there's a production. Stream runner man. He's in the <laughs> <show. laughs> He heard me call you. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, uh it's your favorite, not TR not TO PR player, a generic name, Michael. And we have future PR player, air quotes. He's not gonna make PR this season. Yeah. OJ Wadler, formerly owning a Ganondorf on stream. Um, game three though, in a plus two matchup. And then uh, I play pink next. Now we have, yep. More importantly, we have two zoners that are actually not really zoners because they actually just they kind of have to scrap. They got hands. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, you you used to play Youngling, so you probably know yeah, more. Yeah, this character sucks, Youngling. But Zelda is even worse and is unimaginably a losing matchup for Zelda. Oh, 100 percent. You just get mashed down by Youngling, and there's nothing you can do about it. Did you play Taz back in the day? Yes. What do you think of this matchup? It's really whatever, because you're just playing a better character, and your tools just beat their tools, so it's for the AIDS. Yeah, makes uh, sense. The only thing they have, and it's not Reflector, it's Displacing Phantom. Uh, if you can Displace Phantom, it can eat an arrow or something, and you'll live. Or you are like you can actually then get it out. But otherwise, you're kind of just miserable. Um, your only saving grace is the Reflector is actually like the best edgeguarding tool in the matchup. You just run off stage and press the B button, and it kills them. Um, but if you mash it like out of disadvantage or as a reflect, you can get caught. Although that's a yeah, insane that's nice. issue get up. Yeah, I mean, now it's it even is, it is scary. Yeah, that is like the one Zelda strength she has, which is a scary ledge trap. Which isn't even like a free ledge trap because some characters can just go under it and you or can jump it. most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Master getting completely owned at 100. percent Yeah, I was gonna uh, say at the start of this game, it felt like Pawn Master was just in control. Yeah, but... I mean, this is a only favorite matchup for sure. Yeah. Um, there's like nothing, like Zelda should never ever ha control the tempo Goodness, unless yeah. you're off stage. Uh, and you just kind of get rolled. Um, but yeah, you you just get rolled and then you pray that the Yunling makes a dumb mistake and kills you. Otherwise, the Yunling just runs away with the set. Although, Pawn Master is kind of spamming up which is like not free, although. That should be good. Yeah, yeah. easily. Do not grab the Yunling down tilt. It is not safe. This character is dumb. Then like he's like the most annoying character in the game if you're not if you just, he just if you does, don't know. He just does everything safe. Yeah. And you're like, oh well, I just have to with punish now, and it's like lame, because he's a projectile character. Exactly. Electro's trying to fight back here, but there's yeah. only so much that it feels like can be done. Yeah, Zelda can still still winnable, by the way. This is like a lightning kick away from being even. Although Young Link is notorious as like one of the highest average damage output dealers in the game. Um funny down air. Uh it just works like that. That's not death yet. Yeah, but, but it's disgusting how strong that LP out of shield is. Oh, yeah. It's not, like, consistent to hit, but man, does it feel bad getting hit by it. No resources off stage. Not able to edge guard. Did the same neutral get up, it worked. Really bad LP, and that's probably death. Zelda sucks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Link just in control the whole time. Uh, just kind of owned them. Yeah, Yeah, Link just kind of always in control. This is, like, a plus two matcher for a reason. Um, the other kind of just blows as a character. Yeah. Um, I mean, what what do you think Electro could do? Um, <laughs> I think Electro is the one camping, and Master is the one aggressing, and that just should be reversed. Because uh, Yelling can't, or Zelda can't deal with the uh, inevitable betrayal of bombs, rings, and arrows. Because Phantom can only take so much, and he's not even displacing them. That's like the big one. If he can displace Phantoms, he can at least get them off way more consistently in neutral. Yeah. Um, like here, yeah, like. He, he, he didn't even displace the Phantom, he just did it wrong, and it blocked the dash tech, so he got it off. Um, yeah. He also just has to be careful about using these the, the, the Reflector a lot. I think it's called Nin something. I'm no dirt. Um, it's, he's using it a lot, it's like not really working, and it can get you punished. Um, otherwise, he also should be ledge trapping a lot more. I was gonna say, it feels like whenever Pawn Master's put in a disadvantage, Electro is trying to set up a ledge trap with Phantom, but Pawn Master's just able to get up and then reclaim Yeah, like that eventually. should not be like... I, like Zelda has like one strength, you need to play for it. If you're not playing for your ledge trapping, you're kind of doing it wrong. Yep. It is even though, which is impressive. Mm -hmm. These like random grabs you've been getting have been doing work, and Young or mm -hmm. hasn't got like any insane startups. Good yeah. DI. Yeah, the only guppy has no actual punish at high percents, and if you air dodge, you're just you don't know the matchup, and then you can get air dodge. Yep. Exactly. That's why you see Pawn Master off for all of like the boomerangs after, yeah. right? To try and catch something. The general Zelda game plan for this is like they just have to. This should be Ooh. alive, yeah. Yeah, just out of range. Is is like you can't like corner camp because if you corner camp like this is, he has the whole stage to just ignore the phantom, and you're not favored in this situation. Um, you need to like get center stage and then force the like into a corner because like all this spamming isn't gonna work out because it's never gonna hit and you're more likely to get hit by. Yeah, you're not taking stage control. Yeah, you're not taking stage control. You're not likely to like you're more likely to get hit than he is here. Yeah. Now now both of them are just like okay. Like, they're, they're literally both camping, but the Pawn Master is doing it the correct one. 
Yeah. And then he just reads the full hop in because he got bored because he got hit. Like, yeah, he just, like, wasted 10 seconds, 30 seconds. That should be dead. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Wave down side B, kind of notorious for... Or side B in general, kind of a disgusting combo starter, but... And safe on shield, by the way, unless you parry it. Yeah, but it also has so much startup. That, that, that's a real thing. Like, if if you let a young link position to point blank side B you, like... Yeah, but the problem is you have to run at this character because he has the most projectiles in the game that are safe and play playable. That is true. But if you don't, you just get camped out. So you have to, like, do it smartly, which is parrying the boomerang. Or, like, you can, like, fight the boomerang, if that makes sense. Classic neutral get up on the arrow because you tech the platform because it's like the easy tech, but since it's an easy tech, you neutraled it. Good awareness, this should be a kill. Oh, oh uh, that's an F smash angle. Um, Uppy is probably the biggest damage starter you only can do out of nothing. Um, Unable to set up Phantom there. Had the neutral get up read just fast from the timing. Uh, that's like the worst feeling in the world. Okay, random scary situation, but a good air dodge gets you out of it. I mean, Unless uh, you're just running away with this. Yeah, he's just. He just has the lead, so he's just taking it all the way there. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like that's something a lot of people don't do that we just saw Pawn Master do. Is like, if Zelda is setting up Phantom, you can just hit her. Yeah. And can... it goes away. But yeah, it's not safe. And especially with Young Link, you have the tether grab. Yeah. So you can just grab them through the Phantom. We've seen that before. But like, this is just kind of doomed at this point. Because you, like, Young Link already has the most damage out, one of the most damage outputs in the game. And you're already down two stocks. Like, this requires you to, like, get a stock fairly and then cheese him. Which yeah. is not free. He was able to same, get out the corner. Though. Yeah, same neutral get up. Uh, that's like the difference between two tours and like potential PR players slash threats are the, the, how many in times do you need to get owned before it swaps? Like getting arrow downered and then getting arrow downered again the next stock is a like you need to like be think you need to that's the difference between being like top player and not top player is the awareness of just oh this worked let me not get hit by the exact same setup again. Um, this means you're on stream now. Yep. Uh, Versus I gotta go play. Not future PR player versus actual PR player. Yeah. I will be excited to see you get frauded on. Okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. His man in the car was like, yeah, I'm going to, I could be like 15 in the entire MDVA region. Oh my God. Is that my favorite TO running at me? Uh, best of five.
That little mini cost thing.
Hello everyone, it's Raiding Keys 38. I am back. If you saw me earlier, I was here earlier. Well, I was here earlier in the stream. We have a match we have a match between Coltman and and a, gen a generic Michael. It's a 1-1 match, uh, best of three, so whoever wins this match, wins the set. This is gonna be a very interesting one. It is Snake versus Diddy Kong. Let's -a go. Three, two, one, go! Okay, it seems like. Okay, so it seems like um, Michael has taken the advantage immediately. And it is not looking good for Cole. It's a very. There goes the first stock. Coltman has taken the first stock. Coltman currently has the advantage. Let's see if they can keep that advantage and rack up some good damage on Michael. Very interesting, to be honest. But Michael can just as easily knock out how Coltman immediately. But it seems like that is not going to be the case. Coltman has recovered from that. Absolutely wild. And now it is 3-1. Coleman has the advantage. Coleman could take this with a 3-0 match. That will be absolutely crazy. What do you think, Jack? It's... Coleman has lost his stock, but that does not mean, mean that he is done. He is winning this still. Michael's now Woods. Michael will need to take another stock, and even then, Coleman still has the advantage. Michael is not to win this match, and it's likely going to be a 2 1 on Coleman. He absolutely is. He's moving left, right, center. Or he is just flying. It is absolutely wild. There it goes. Coleman wins. That's it. Nice. Nice. Is it best of five? Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Had a slight tech, had a slight error. It is not best of three. It is best of five, which means means very simple. Oh, it is a it is a snake versus young Link. They're doing self destruction. <laughs> Are they just self destructing? What was that? Oh my! They're going for the fifth match. Oh, my. What was that? 
Oh wait, sorry. Oh, it was wrong stage. Okay, sorry about that. I thought that I thought they were just going for it. Okay, sorry about that. It is game four now. I'm sorry about the inaccuracy. It is game four. Yeah. Thank you. that young Link theory about him choosing the wrong character was wrong because clearly he's very intentional when he's about young Link. Currently Coleman has the advantage. Let's see if Michael could just take that stock and make it even. Come on. Is Coleman just going to take this match and end it? Uh, I'm okay. By the way, you just call me Keys. I'm Rating Keys 38. I was the first one on stream. Uh, the Ridley screen is very interesting to be completely honest. I haven't seen it much, so my memory's a bit rough on it. Call me keys. But yeah, Michael has the advantage. Can Michael take this match? There it goes. That is game. Holtman takes it. Snake got that win. Let's see who's up next. Hello everyone, Rating Keys 38 here in the live in the flesh. But yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. This is Rating Keys 38. I was on stream. I was the first match on stream and I lost. It was fun. No. Y'all have any questions? We just gotta wait, honestly, for the next match. By the way, shout out to the lurkers there. Okay, so currently our next match is Pink Fresh versus OJ Wadler. Okay. I haven't heard much about both of the, these people. I haven't seen them play against, e I don't think I have seen them play against each other. At least my memory's a bit rough, so I don't think I have. Yeah, I haven't seen them play against each other. Maybe T, then you must be happy that they're going against each other. Stop battle. Uh, okay, let's see what they're choosing. Mario versus Lucina. Okay. I think I saw the Mario earlier. Or 
I think I saw O.J. Wadler earlier. They haven't selected, they haven't started yet. What are they doing? There it is. Okay, I got a quick question, chat. Is this normal for these players? For their mains? Did one of them just vary from their mains? Honestly, it depends. There's slight variation. Honestly, I, I couldn't give a good answer. Mainly depends on what you are. I'm pretty sure, from what I know, Lucina is better than Mario. That was a fumble on OJ. Okay, it's even stocks now. But OJ, of course, has taken some damage. Let's see if he can get that back. Fresh is currently is currently playing. Let's see if that advantage will stay. Yeah. There he goes. Pink Fresh wins the first match. Oh my! The future is not written. Let's see if Pink Fresh will choose the same one or if OJ will, or if OJ will deviate. Let's see if there's any deviation or if it's just gonna be the same one. Stop the battle! Mario Lucina! It's Mario versus Lucina again. Honestly. Not that surprised. Honestly. Three, two, one, go! Very interesting to be honest. Fresh could have uh, made a mistake there. Very easily have fallen. Oh my, that is a very early stock taken. Oh my. Different guy, JoJo. Different guy.
Battle. Hey, what's up? I'm Mulan. Hopping back to Mark. We got a, ooh, a Mark switch. So hopping on this 1-1 one, one action. Uh, I saw, uh, was that a 3-star for AJ Wild the last game? I'm not sure. It seemed pretty dominant, but uh, I'm surprised me fresh as the first game on the board. We got a Mark switch. Uh, I saw Pink talking about how he thought his Lucina was a lot better than his Marth after only a little bit of time playing Lucina versus all the time he spent playing Marth these past like six months. So interesting to see a character switch here, but uh, not too surprised. Definitely his uh, two favorite characters recently. Especially he loves his Marth, thinks Marth is better than Lucina right now, I'm pretty sure. Which is a, a fun opinion. So far, doing pretty good against OJ. Uh, a lot more working than what happened last game, apparently. Uh, OJ was kind of smothering Pink Fresh. Okay. Ah, he's hitting all these tippers. Pink Fresh spacing, really good. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, not for the F smash, OJ. That was good. I've actually never seen that before. <laughs> Didn't know that was like an option against Mario back here on shield. Interesting. Okay, okay. That sends you so far, 30%. Tipper Scythe is great. Okay, trying to get something here. Okay, what do we got? Back to the one take it. Uh, oh, went so deep. And he is just getting juggled like crazy right now. Pink Fresh is not letting up on the gas. This will be. That shouldn't connect, yeah? But man, he is just... He plays pretty different too. A lot more grounded with this Marth than this Lucina. Obviously, you're going to be boxing more with a Marth over Lucina. But yeah, back will take it. Probably got the one frame on that, but hey, no not not in the worst spot. I'll say could be could be definitely worse. Uh, oh, this one kill. Right? Okay, yeah, down. Wishful thinking though. Wishful thinking. <laughs> We've been sick. Maybe if you get like one of those like weird Mario up the fallout, you know? Nah, I don't know. Okay, flood to get out of pressure. Uh, 160 though. If Pink Crush can keep up with these tippers, uh, a lot will kill here pretty soon. Oh wow, nice. Got him with the down smash. Now OJ Waddler in a dire position, but it is Mario. No, it, it is Mario. So like, I mean, yeah, look at these combos. Thing can happen. Uh, ooh, those tippers so satisfying to hear. All right, good man. Pretty normal here, actually. <laughs> no lie. Oh, that's back air. Good catch by OJ. That was like the second pick fresh loss in this ability. Okay. Combo here for OJ. Decided to keep him in the air and went for the flood? Okay. Oh no, is that it? Okay. Barely missing the forward air. Unfortunate for OJ, but this is now an even game. What the F smash by Pink? Just going for it. What do we got here? OJ, we're back here. Threatening so much space here. Oh wow. Missed that up smash. I thought that was a hit for sure. Forward throw. What do we got? Oh, good parry, but no, there was a... That was it, right? No, wow, okay. I feel like there was a much better option off that parry. You just up smash there for sure, right? Now, this is dangerous. Okay, not anymore. That is an up smash for OJ. Coming back on that game, it was looking dire, too. Clean stuff, clean stuff. Yeah, pulling that back from the depths, the clutches. Uh, playing really aggressive on that ledge there. And Pigfresh is having trouble breathing. So, interested to see if we're going to see any character switch. I believe we're probably... Yeah. Seeing we've seen that again. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I think the Marth was definitely doing Marthy things on the first stock. And then OJ started, like, approaching like crazy. And we stopped seeing those tippers as much as we were seeing first stock. So, the Lucina pick is going to substitute that. Okay. Alright, so, ooh, combo here for Ojo? 
Oh, this is scary. Oh, no. Okay. Got out of it. I thought Pink was dead. Okay. So Pink already at 100% here on the ledge, which is where we kind of saw OJ run Pink last game. It was where we saw that huge comeback. Uh, OJ is so... Loves Fireball Nair. It's his favorite move ever. Ooh. Classic. The spot dodge up smash. We're playing Smash 4, baby. We'd love to see it. Okay. Push him. I actually, I really like that option. I like that option to get rid of the pressure. That was nice. Now we got a combo here by... Okay, what are we doing? Going for some funky stuff. Okay, pink. Okay, he uses the plat to get back. I like that. Pink's gotta take this stock here sooner. This is gonna get annoying. Sitting and watching. Oh, Smash not gonna take it. Bear will take it. Okay. Interesting offstage uh, situation. OJ is kind of laughing about it. Okay. We have to count their up smash. Okay. <laughs> Went for it. Worked. Cupping, pressing buttons. Uh, maybe the peak fresh disadvantage hasn't been as good here against uh, OJ. They're getting back into a corner here. Pink doing a very good job of backing OJ into a corner, but not getting a ton off of it. We'll see what he can get here. Counter, should, I think he can get back to top. Yeah, okay, high recovery takes it. Or not takes it, but you know, gets him back to the ledge. Super low. Alright, again, keeping him in this corner. Okay, I don't know why he did that. OJ didn't really get a punish off it, but... Interesting way to give up your uh, your presence there. Okay, OJ again, back in this corner. Ooh, wrong way. Alright, the crutch of Town & City platform is no longer there to save you. We are just on Big FD now. Oh, wow. Again, OJ is doing really good on this ledge. Yeah. Just had him locked down there. Wow, and that is unfortunate DI for Pink Fresh. Going to be taken in for OJ 3-1. And OJ is moving on to uh, winners top eight. And now it's going to be me versus K24 for top eight.
stop battle. Reaching break.
Yo, what is going on? It's just Raph in the middle of the set. We got we got Coldman versus Pawn Master. Game two. Oh. Okay. All right. Something happened. Must be the wrong stage. So I've never I've never seen this player before, Coltman before, but I did look up their stats on PG stats. Uh, before I got here, and they look like they're pretty good. So, I wonder how Pawn Master is going to handle this matchup. Stop the battle. Snake I feel like Pawn Master might be familiar with the, the Snake matchup, because he plays a little bit of Walugi. Well, here we go. Game go. number two going to small battlefield. So this is going to be a lot of zoning, a lot of staying away, throwing out projectiles. But whenever the character gets in, they're going to demolish the other character. And right now, Young Link in a left trap situation gets out of it just fine. I wonder, possibly Young Link probably has the better zoning tools. Because I feel like Arrow and Boomerang are more direct. Ooh, the double C4. I like that from Coleman. Fantastic gameplay. And that's going to be a uh, upbeat to fair. Not going to take the stock. He uh, Snake's a heavy man. Going for that fair offstage. Farmmaster narrowly avoiding that C4. I wonder if they knew that was there or it just happened to, like, just stay mobile and just happen to dodge it. Got Nikita. Wrong way, Nikita. And that's a... <laughs> That's <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. First stock going to Pawn Master. And still letting this string continue. And watch that C4 middle plat. I'm sorry, middle center stage. Oof. I love the run up uh, grab from Pawn Master. Kind of closing that, that space there. Whenever Snake gets you into a situation like that, I, I guess roll is the answer. But that, that's always a scary, scary, scary spot. They, like, it's like a checkmate. Wow. Pawn Master is on a tear right now, running through Coleman. The Coleman following up with an up tilt of their own, finally taking the stock off on. All right, right now, both throwing their bombs and projectiles. Getting that grab on plat, following up with the up air to up E. The string is still going with the back air. Boomerang coming, but okay. I thought the C4 was uh, center plat. Right center stage. Going for that dare. I love that because the double hit spot, hitbox destroys the cypher and attacks Snake. That's fantastic. It's great awareness from uh, Pawn. Right now, uh, Coleman is at 170, and that is going to be it. Game two goes to Pawn. It is a best of five, so we're going to have another one. The see if Coleman has some adjustments to make, or is this going to be their winner's side of bracket? May have to see uh, Pawn master that run back in losers, or in grands if you bring, if you make it. Stop the battle. Young going with the Falcon. All right, this time, battle, Battlefield's for real this time. And I do like this pick for Falco, because Falco gets a lot off those plats. And the Boomerang up, uh, interrupting that, uh, that throw. Jeez. All right, Coleman's got something going, but drops it. Pawn gets out of it just fine. I love that. I love the delayed dare there. Uh, Coleman was going for something crazy, but unfortunately, Pawn was able to get out of that. The Pawn going for the boomerang down air, letting that connect, following by the nair, keeping uh, Coleman off stage and follows with the fair to take the first stop. 
not even 100% on Palm Master. Palm Master is sitting at a very good percentage and still letting that string go. All right, we get the, the neutral reset. Finally, both center stage. If you think, if you think about it, Falco's, Falco's uh, rabbit jab is low key a spin attack of his own. So, but as we can see, Young Link's spin attack is a little better. Going low with the forward air and Coleman taking that stock. This is already better than the snake. But these combos that Palm Master has, Palm Master is very, Palm Master is very seasoned with the Young Link. He gets one opening and he's going to tear you a new one for it. But look at Coleman go. All right. I like the awareness on the reflector. Still going. Going with the up tilt fair. I was expecting a back air and up air. Trying to go low again, trying to sneak out that, uh, and getting punished for going off stage and getting a little too greedy. Coleman on their last winter side stock. But let's see if they're able to, to take this stock from Palm Master and force a game four. Uh, I don't like that. Palm Master, once, like I said, when Palm Master gets that opening, bye bye. That's a guarantee 40 at, at minimum. 40 on a bad day if Palm Master gets an opening. And that's going to be a free up there. This is looking scary for. All right, I thought that was it. This is looking very scary for Coleman. Yeah, there it is. And Coleman drops down to losers as Pawn continues their winner's side run. Pawn uh, doing very well at these Xanadus and, 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 and punishing those kids over at UMD like it's nobody's business. Well, what's going on, y'all? It's the grind. I'm just Rav. Uh, grind uh, 280, I think. Um, it's a Friday. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I hope y'all are too. Let me pull up chat real quick. Um, follow uh, VGB. Uh, what is it? What is it? VG Bootcamp on TikTok because we got we got some highlights there. You might see a couple clips that you might have been here for. You might see. You might. You might not. And also sign up for the Arcadian. That's uh, May 25th, if I'm not mistaken. It's gonna be fire. And if you, uh, if you're 25th, 25th, I was correct. Yes, yes, May 25th. Show up to the Arcadian. The last one was fire. This one's gonna be fire. It's, it's, it's always a good time. And Zach, one of the TOs here, his, his dad comes out, he cooks hot dogs and sloppy joes and fajitas, taquitos. He cooks, it, he cooks it all, man. Just come through, man. It's gonna be a good time. It looks like we got OJ. Speaking of the Arcadian, the last Arcadian winner, OJ Wadler, the Mario, up against Oolong, one of the best we fits in the world. Mario. I'm a fan of OJ Wadler, man. Yeah. Here we go. PS2. Like I said, I'm a fan of OJ Wilder, man. His Mario cooks, bro, but I'm also a fan of Oolong, so we're going to no bias here. And here we go. Starting off with that uh, up air or up throw dare. Right now. Oh, oh, OJ's got a pretty good lead here, but Oolong is no, nobody to be, uh, no one to. You don't get comfortable when you have a slight lead against Oolong because Oolong's going to do things like these up air bridges and take that lead right back from you. Ooh, I love the fireball in there. I see that cape coming out a lot. Oolong's doing a great job of conditioning uh, OJ uh, Wadler into thinking they're going to shoot that, uh, that sun salutation. And there it goes. And finally, ooh, the cape. I like it. And in that back throw, Oolong recovering, goes to the roll, and to the back air. No deep breathing, because that definitely would have taken a stop. Another back throw. Oolong off stage, where he likes to be. Mm. What an F to almost taking that stock, man. I'm telling you, deep breathing is our sin. It, it is. It is vanilla Arsene. Oh my goodness. This was Arsene without, this is 
the free version of Arsene. You didn't have to pay $5.99 for this, or, or $4.99, or whatever the price was. For that back throw, OJ Wilder needs to hurry up and take the stock if they want to get into this game, because Ulo's going to run away with it with the dare. OJ recovers just fine. That deep breathing's on deck. Goes for the... That was a nair, I believe. It's Perry's on deck, and the F-Tilt takes that stock. I love the punish. OJ struggling to take one of these stocks. All right. Getting the... Oh, I love the two-frame with the down tilt, the back air. Fantastic placement, fantastic timing by OJ Wadler. Finally squeezing out that stop. But this is going to be a tough hill to climb from OJ Wadler because they are down two stops. All right, I guess one second. And Oolong is doing such a great job of keeping OJ, OJ Wilder at bay, not allowing them to get in and put and do these like these stubby little arm combos. But what are we gonna get here? Uh, F smash. All right. Oh my goodness, OJ getting OJ, OJ. Oh my goodness. With the with the uh, the gritty F smash, I want to make it. I want to. I don't know if this is insensitive. I want to make an OJ Simpson joke because Oolong was playing the woman and the OJ. I, I think it would be funny, but uh, anyway. All right, game two. Does OJ Wadler have any other player uh, characters? I'm, uh, if anybody in chat can, uh... what's up to everybody that's a high? By the way, I'm just opening the chat. But if... no, OJ sticking with the Mario, and I am a Mario fan. So this game two starting off just like game one started. OJ kind of gets a, a, a pretty good start in the beginning, and then yeah, Oolong just kind of figures it out and turns it around. So right now, it's not the biggest lead, but boom, it's already gone. Ooh. Oh, my up tilt is better than your up tilt. That's what Ulong said. All right, OJ getting something cooking. Getting some cooking. Is it going to take it? Is it going to kill? Not enough great DI from Oolong, but we love those up air uh, bridges, man. That stuff is crazy to see. Oolong returns to center stage, both fighting for center stage. OJ Wadler ends up getting that ground. Deep breathing is on deck with the fireball kind of stuffed out of that recovery, but Oolong makes it back just fine. And, oh man, all right. That was quick reflexes from uh, OJ though. Let's, let, let's not pretend like that wasn't impressive. All right, OJ getting that, <laughs> getting that up smash right back. I just I love watching top players play because when they get when they get the opening they let it, it, it all goes it all unfolds man nothing is left on the table when when somebody gets opened up. Oh man, and I think. Yeah, Oolong went for the cancel on that deep breathing, and you had plenty of time for it, but Oolong gets it anyway. Look at that. Deep breathing is on deck. I'd be scared if I was OJ Wadler. Oh, no tech on the plat. Oolong's going to carry that, uh, take that away every single time. Deep breathing back on deck. OJ Wilder sitting at a very, very high percent. One back air did the job. All right. Getting hit with the sun. And the follow up with the, after the header. Oh, 
That's the scariest thing about Wii Fits is like, when you think like, oh, they're in the corner, I'm technically winning this interaction. No, you're not. That's what they want. And it's disgusting. All right, Mario going a little deep, but recovers just fine. Oolong takes center stage and follows up with the up tilt, the up air, and cancels that deep breathing. I thought we was going to get something out of that. And OJ with the Randy up smash, taking that stock. All right, okay. Right now, both throwing their projectiles out. Again, whoever makes that committal move and goes for it is going to get hard punished, and there it is. Oolong taking game two. Let's do some jackknife exercises. Like I said, does, uh, does OJ Wadler have any other characters, or are we sticking with the Mario the whole time? We shall see. Wonder what the stage pick is gonna be. Stop I, I I looked away. I, I missed it. Mario. All right, both well, sticking with same characters. Here we go. Is it PS2? Three, ah, PS2 again. Two, one, go. Switch it up, y'all. Switch it up. All right, OJ coming in hot. OJ's aggressive, man. I love aggression. We love that. Ooh, the up airs. Another up air falls with the back air and trying to, and getting a little greedy there. Unfortunate for OJ Wobbler. Man, you gotta, you gotta know when to pull it back. Getting, connecting with that back air. Going off stage again, getting a little greedy. Trying to find something. Finding another back air, sending Oolong off stage, and boom, that's a free deep breathing every single time. And the Randy up smash. I love those, man. I never get tired of those, man. Keep doing that. OJ Wadler never change. Here we go. Two stocks apiece. OJ at 77. This is kind of scary. That did a lot of damage. For a lot more than I, than I am comfortable with. Oh my goodness. All right. Diet Arsene is on deck. Oh, Ulong going for the header. OJ on ledge. Falls up with the down air, the double down air. I love that. Going for the flood. Nothing really off the flood. I guess just to make the space. Trying to get uh, Oolong to burn something quick. And the dash attack takes that stock. Oolong, or OJ Wadler on the last stock of this winner set. Oolong is on him. Oh no! What the sour spot! That's so frustrating! Man, Oolong's parry game is crazy, bro. Oolong is cooking with gas. Oh, while they're finding something, missing that tech. Oh, reading that roll like a book. And finally finding that F smash. I love that. All right, Oolong with the fresh deep breathing, finding that back throw. OJ Wadler off stage, burning that jump a little early, but recovering just fine. And oh, the air dodge getting red. Great DI from OJ. Still alive, but getting caught with the header. This is scary. Makes it back safely. How are you going to recover? Goes for the wave lane on ledge. That was the first time we've seen that all set, so I'm not mad at that option. Right now, OJ Wadler's in control. Continuing it. Going for the fair? No fair. Oh, boy. Yeah, OJ Wilder's turning it up right now. Game. Let's go. Okay, that was hype. That was hype. OJ taking that. Game three. Mario wins. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. All right. But Oolong, Oolong, got, Oolong has fire in his eyes now. 
You gonna take a stock from me? You gonna take a game from me? You gonna take a game from me? Are you, you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You talking to me? That's what Ulong's saying right now. So I'm kinda I'm kinda I'm afraid for OJ. And we're going to Alright, great stage. I love the music. The aggression for OJ Wilder from the beginning is fantastic every single time. He's breathing on deck. OJ getting some cooking. Getting some cooking. Still going. Missing the up B. That's gonna be a hard punish. Oh, the wall jump. That was that was that was nice. A lot of footsies, a lot of scrambles going on. The hitbox on that on the soccer ball is still active. And the F tilt, the deep breathing F tilt takes that stock. Oolong on the board and not even at 100%. This is a pretty good lead. No, great DI from Oolong. Oolong staying alive. And it's going to be hard for him to recover. And recovers with the long air dodge. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was, yo, I was literally at the edge of my seat just there. Yeah, OJ's going for these these, these Randy up smashes. And they're, hey, hey, man, they work. Those first two didn't work, but that last one did. It works when you needed to. OJ on ledge. Gets caught with the, uh, the Nair back there. Roll read. Ooh, with authority. The back throw is not going to be enough, but Ulong sitting at 149, so anything pretty much will do it at this point, even without range. I love that awareness from uh, Ulong, knowing that that F tilt from Mario is very quick, and Ulong is still alive and deflecting Mario in. Oh, what a way to end that set! Oh my goodness, the footstool was so unnecessary. Footstool was so unnecessary, but we love to see it. That was hype. That was hype, man. Oh, I, I I love I love top tier gameplay like that, man. You can't every time somebody talks about how boring Smash is getting because of Steve's and Game of Watches and blah 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 blah. No, we got we got we got uh, Wii Fit's here. We got Mario's here. We got Ridley's here. We got it all. So here we go. We'll see who we got next. We got Trap Hood versus OJ again. OJ not even getting a, getting a break. Ugh, that's a that's a bit rough. I lost the trap hood <laughs> in main bracket, but I think I played well. I think I think I'm starting to learn the PT matchup. Uh, I think they're disconnecting controllers. Well, what's up, Chad? I got time to talk. What's up, y'all? What's up, Chad? Thank you for. I saw somebody said nice shirt earlier. I forgot who it said, but thank you that. Thank you to that. Yeah, they not letting they not giving OJ no type of breathing room. I always need like a mental reset after a set. Like just something. Like especially if it's one where like it was a crazy win or a crazy loss, like when you're shaking a little bit, you always need a little reset. All right, I love that. Starting at Smashville, not going to the classic PS2. So I'm, I'm already excited for this so far. Pokemon Trainer. All right, here it goes. PT versus Mario. So on paper, I want to say Mario loses this, but we shall see. Go for it. Three, two, one, go! 
LJ starting out with that uh, rising dare, two dares. Man, OJ going for that fair at ledge. Whiffing that, or missing that grab. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nah, not enough. Right now, OJ's got a very good lead. Trap's kind of struggling. The trap runs off with the nair and gets the kill. All right, what a turnaround from uh, Trap. Oh, I love that change. Okay, charge guard. OJ at the ledge, but OJ gets the grab, but Charizard's heavy. Not enough. Going for that two frame. Oh, I, I think I saw the up smash coming from OJ. But not quick enough. Trapoot's doing a great job of just uh, holding on to this last stock in the mileage. Flies through that fireball. And already 60 on OJ Wadler. And not enough. Still not enough. Shouldn't Flood do damage against Charizard? Alright, a little low on that upbeat. Here we are. I just back on deck. Uh oh. Looking that grab there. But we're going to get something crazy. Not enough to take us. What if the flood took that? That would be great. And the vine whip. Not enough to take a stock. Great DI from uh, OJ. Trap back off stage. Trap vine whipping through the stage. And then getting caught by the roll. Having a hard time returning to center stage. Goes for the flare blitz. And gets immediately punished with the down air. Not enough to take that stock, though. We're still in this. Oh. And the back air barely finding OJ and closing out that stock. Bro, Squirtle at 150, you wow. You wow. All right, okay. Hey, it really didn't even matter. I was sure it didn't matter. The tip of that up E catching OJ. Oh, that's an air dodge off stage, but I don't like the ball <laughs> Oh, boy. Trap going for that vine whip through the stage again, but OJ kind of aware this time. All right. Noah be there. A little too far. Great DI from Trap. Trap connecting with the vine whips through the stage. This is going to put OJ in a bad spot. Getting caught with the up air. OJ lands and finds the F smash. What a jab lock scenario there for OJ, turning that around, because it was definitely looking like it was Trap Hood's game. Game two. Let's see what stage we go to. If you pick PS2, I'm going to be upset. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Here we go. Game two. Go for it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I love that. Every single time, OJ, like people have not figured it out. OJ's he's running in with a dare. <laughs> Good lead, up air strings, no plat to extend to an up B there. OJ forced to reset, neutral. Now it's Trap's turn, double up air. Goes for the grab, trying for the vine whip, and misses. Another, another vine whip there. OJ finding that back air, or back throw. Oh, and missing that back here. Unfortunate. 
trap, kind of going for the whiff punish up smash there, unable to find the connect. The range that Charizard has and that might do it. Nah. That's gonna do it. What a recovery from OJ Wilder. Barely hanging on by threat and reversing trap and taking that first stop. Trap immediately switching to the Ivysaur and running it right back. All right, so we got an even game. Two stocks apiece here. Double grab attempt there from OJ Wadler. But it's Trap who finds the grab. Continues the string. Misses that grab, but continues again just to get interrupted by Mario's grab. Mario continuing with these up air strings. Trap reset the situation. Wow, what an up B. I love that. All right, what an up B there. Trap going off stage and finding that back air. No tech from OJ Wilder, putting them on their last stock here in this game, too. Trap hooks in at a very good lead. But, okay, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough. Oh, wow. Down smash finding Squirtle. That's going to be a no. Fantastic drift. Falling right into that up smash, unfortunately. But that was fantastic drift from Trap Hood, avoiding that down smash from earlier. Right. Both kind of playing the scrap game right now. Trap is off stage, not getting called by that dash attack at ledge. Double rolls to center stage. But hey, is it a bad option if it works? Uh oh. <laughs> hey, we got to see one of those once the set. Mario cooking. He's having frog legs, frog legs for dinner tonight. You know that feeling when you have your character and you hit that opening, that ho that that opening string that just leads into that kill confirm, like. When you know it's like, oh, it's inevitable. I know that's what OJ felt right there with that second up air. Mm. Chef's kiss. The Wadler special is what chat says. I, I agree. All right, going back to Hollow Bastion. Oh, that up beat. I, I like the idea, but unfortunately, it was a little bit space. The trap finding. Yeah, nah, I was just gonna survive that. Oh my goodness. Is it enough? No, what an early stock from OJ Wilder, another OJ Wilder special, taking out that stock. Trap on the second stock here, switching immediately to Ivysaur, trying to keep uh, Mario at mid range. That narrow stage is not going to do it. Great awareness there. And another OJ Wadler special. Except for this time, Trap Hood was able to make it back. That those extra jumps came in handy. Goes for the dare at ledge, but a little bit space. Vine with taking that stock. All right, so this isn't this isn't too bad for Trap. Trap can make this back. But let's see if OJ Wadler can keep up this lead by applying this pressure. That grab, fantastic grab from uh, Trap. Trap going for the dare, but OJ kind of having that invincibility. The percent keeps piling on. Trap going deep. OJ kind of stuffing that out with a nair. That was crazy. Another back air? No. Great awareness from Trap. Yahoo. All right, OJ at the ledge finds the back throw and does it seals out that stock trap on their last stock potentially of this set. He's playing it, playing it chill, but runs in with the dare. It's caught with the rising there. What a great punch there from OJ Wilder. Oh, OJ Wilder's in the driver's seat. This must be Marvel versus Capcom 2 because he's gonna take you for a ride. All right. 
Charizard finding that up smash, closing out. This is very possible for Trap Hood. Especially if uh, OJ burns his uppies that early. Definitely possible. Oh no. What a what patience from OJ Wobbler anticipating that change and slightly, just ever so slightly delaying that de that air, or I'm sorry, back air and finding that connection. The divine went through the ooh and the what a punish there from OJ Wadler closing out this uh, this set 3-0. Man, OJ wasn't playing. OJ wasn't playing, and that is uh yeah that was losers man. Trap is out. Unfortunate for them, but there's always next week. What's going on, chat? Too predictable there. I, I agree. I agree. A little predictable there. It's looking like we're getting Pawn versus. Wait, Traphood? Was that Winners? Oh, he was just grabbing. Was... Trap Tra was just grabbing the paper. All right, we're getting Pawn versus Oolong. How's everybody's Friday going so far? Okay. I'm not mad at it. This song kind of slaps. Young Link. We betrayed him. Yeah, I agree with this song. All right, here we go. Young Link versus Oolong for this winner's finals. Whoever wins this sits comfortably up in range. All right, Pawn is not here to play games. Uh, and continuing the string with that grab, reading that roll. All right, Ulong turning it around. Completely evening this up. That's insane. We fit does way more damage than we talk about. Or maybe Young Ulong does so little damage. It's not going to be enough to take that stock. I love the Z-drop at ledge. What we're gonna get here. All right, that was kind of risky for Ulong coming with that down air because you know Pawn likes to follow up with that up air, and that was a fantastic dare. Fortunately, wasn't able to get that tech chase. And something, I saw Pawn cooking something there, but crazy, crazy, crazy that that's a confirm. Run up grab from Ulong. Another run up grab, not enough that time. Pawn finding a grab of their own. Double back air off stage. And then we get the reset to neutral. Oh, what a bait there from Pawn. What a follow up. Who longs that one temp? It's gonna be a hard punish. No, not that hard of a punish. Young Link can't kill with throws. With that Nair, it might have done it. I love the bomb throwing it up, just creating that hitbox. Another thing you gotta worry about. But Ulong goes for the run up and connects with the header. Not enough to take the stock. Another one? Oh, man. I know that's a little frustrating. Ulong's still alive, both. Salute the sun. Wow, Pawn going. Oh man, Pawn finding the lingering dare. That's insane. Oh, and that's gonna do it. The 
of Punisher we're gonna get. Going back. Back here to boomerang, nothing off the boomerang. This is so hard for young ones to land. Oh, I love that awareness. And that's a hard punish, but great DI from Power Master. Barely surviving that with the skin of their teeth. Arm oh, really likes these dare confirms. They fancy. And that is the stock. Barely, might I add. Oolong on the board here. One stock apiece, but Oolong is still at a pretty huge deficit here. Has a lot of ground to make up. And no, no. Okay. We, we, we almost had it. That's gonna not gonna do it. All right. Double, triple, quadruple, all the nares. I love that. That was fantastic. The way the way Ulong used the header to regain stage control, and that's gonna do it. Pawn taking that game one. What are we going to have next? I love the I love the variety in stages, man. Keep it up, y'all. We love jumping right over that hook shot. Yo, Pawn, Pawn sees one of those arrows or boomerangs connect. They go full send with that hook shot. They run straight in and pop the hook shot. Like, ain't no game, so I'm getting this grab. And what a whiff punish there from Pawn. Oolong able to get that deep breathing off. Goes for the... And the up tilt. I'm sorry, that was F tilt. Now, it's it's great awareness from Oolong knowing when Pawn's gonna like rush in, and that's what because they're kind of just taking the projectiles. Oolong is, and then like turns it up when he when he sees Pawn kind of like full send it. No roll read there. Don't oh, put that down air. Roll re there, no F. All right, that's not good. That would have been saucy had that uh, down smash worked. Who, uh, Palm Master's trying to end up on, uh, on TikTok. At BG Camp. follow. Anyway. We were able to get the deep breathing on deck. And that's going to be a hard punish. No, Oolong letting go of shield a little too early, but still catching Pawn on the dare. It's a fair, it looked like. Pawn being off stage. That could have been a hard punish. Actually, no. Last time, Oolong got punished for that. And no. Fantastic. Playful. Ah, the bomb. All right, that was great. That was great from both players there. Fantastic uh, placement for the header, forcing the air dodge burn, and fantastic to know the bomb's out. It was a great play. Which one is super for that kid? That's uh, Oolong. Deep breathing on 
on deck. Back air, going for the nair, but a little too short on that trigger pull. I love the delay on that. What is the average? That's not gonna kill, but allows Farm to recover safely. Ooh, not enough. That, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna take full across the street. That'll do it. All right, Oolong is on the board. 1-1 one, one apiece. Going into this game three. Focus on your balance. All right, let's see what stage we get. We're going to PS2. We're going to the classic. Stop battle. We betray our Here we go. Game three. Oh my goodness. What a string there. Oh, Master is on a tear right now. Had that fire, <laughs> had that arrow connect though. Had that hit though. Another boomerang follow up. Pawn's going out there, deep drop, deep dropping the bomb, and finding the nair. I love the the trap scenario with the hitboxes. You gotta, you, you, you avoid this hitbox. You're gonna get caught with another one, and the other one's gonna kill. These platforms are really coming in handy here for Pawn Master, taking full advantage of every single one. Going for the grab, but whiffing and then getting bombed to Nair. This is going to be scary for Oolong to make it back. And they get caught with the fire arrow to Fair, and that's going to be Oolong's second to last stock in this game three. Uh, this is a fantastic game from Pawn Master. Before that, they were at 22%. Pawn turning, uh, no, I'm sorry, Oolong trying to read that roll, but Pawn rolling by. High, makes it back. I think Ulan was running off for a day or something. Alright. Most of the percent trying to read it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and finally, Pawn losing their first stock at like 140, maybe 150 something. Throwing out projectiles. But Oolong finds the Nair. And nothing too significant off of that conversion. For the header off stage. And the, the last bit, the second to last bit of that up, he saved uh, Pawn Master's life because I saw that, uh, that Dare coming from Oolong. Oolong was hungry. You just start, you just deprived him of his meal. Ouch. It may not be down, down there, but it's gonna be uh, F tilt up, up tilt. Salute the sun. Okay, both playing, playing it very safe here. They both just like, swing first, man. Now nah, you swing first, man. Swing first. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Sweet. And right now, Pawn is struggling to close out this stock. Ulong's kind of running away with it and goes for the grab. Fantastic. Play there. I'm being joined on the mic here. 
Yeah, so, I mean, we saw you saw the beginning of this set. He should just go down in there. Like, <laughs> he really should have. Uh, one of the main issues with Young, Young, Youngling is Youngling's, uh, tra tra that should have been, been it. Uh, is Youngling's failure to close sometimes, which, I mean, we're clearly see seeing that. He's been at 139 for, like, the last three stocks. So that should, that that should, should be do it. Oh, my goodness, every single time. Oolong is playing. That should be, that's, that's it. That's it. All right, yeah. All right, Ulan played cool. that last stock fantastic, man. That was great. Uh, well, we've also seen Weefit's ability to uh, snowball. So yeah. if Pond didn't get the kill there and you let him live off that ledge, there's a very real chance that Ulan just wins within the next 10 seconds. Yeah. What about it, bro? Sign, you want to go eat Naz tonight? Huh, what? Naz. Naz. The food. Oh, today? Yeah, tonight. Uh... Let me uh, let me get back to you. Okay, that. but uh, I think we are running it to Battlefield again. Yeah, it was Battlefield. Three, two, uh, which one, good, go. good choice. Uh, the one the one tough thing about this is that if you don't get the lead, though, it can be tough to break in under the platforms. But that's for well, that means for both really these characters. Um, so it's it's a very snowball type based stage for uh, any projectile character, but. Especially with characters with, with angleable like projectiles, which you've seen Young Link, you know, side B, the big one, bomb being able to, you know, bomb being able to exist at right. any point on the map, it makes it tough to get in. But soccer ball too. That was brave earlier. Did you see when Pawn went for the dare and like the second hitbox was about to hit? And Ulan, like, well, snuck okay. Up? Well, yes, but up tilt is invincible in the arm, frame uh, five, and it's heavily disjointed. Gotcha. It gotcha, is gotcha. very disjointed. Which uh, is weird. Which, it, yeah, it's a good move. Like really good for an, like anti-airing which you saw there uh which you know that wouldn't have like wouldn't have killed you you saw he was like at 48 percent but it's that's damage that could lead to a loss especially with the sour spot uh, it being sour spot and now we're just back to this like ledge game because that's well, all it is when when they're not in like making contact they're just shooting projectiles at each other and you know as they should it's also for um we fit in this matchup, it's tough to get to do your uh, header at most of the time because it loses to pretty much any projectile right. uh, that Young Link has. That was a really good. Oh, but the jump doesn't oh, need it. What a recovery for Pawn. And Ulan gave it a little too early. Uh, Could have punished the uh, comeback like, yeah, come up. Yeah. Oh, we accidentally turned no, around the other upbeat. direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And may, may have done it? I don't really know. He did, I'm pretty sure he had DP'd at the time, so could have, that could have been enough to prevent him from the if, if it didn't kill, it would have definitely... It would, it would have ooh, put you on off stage, yeah. yeah. Oh, this deep breathing. Falls up with the up B. That was almost a stock. <laughs> That's a crazy hitbox. Yeah, it, it's, it's tall. <laughs> But we're seeing here, like, we all see, can see Wii Fit struggle to kill sometimes without deep breathing. Because Pawn is at 160, that's a stop. Pawn's at 165, yeah. and Still not it's not like Young Link is necessarily like a, a heavy character either. That's yeah, but, and, So you need deep breathing, and if you can't get your, like, your deep breathing hit in, you're honestly just trying to, your best to like find a way to deal with it. Uh, to deal with these projectiles, you know they're coming, and you can't really do much about it because... The charge for uh, the charge for deep breathing is uh, longer, like the closer to the last uh, last one was. You have yeah. like a 40 seconds in between uh, deep breathing to get the strong version the of full, it, the fast version, or whatever. Yeah, to get the uh, full. Because it's it's a spectrum. Of, like the buffs are all the same, but they're not the same amount. Huh. I like know. Uh, uh, I can pull up the table for it. But um, the. Now the problem with Pony is he's, he also has to find, try to find the uh, combo. That was really uh, good arrow. It was. Pony's been kind of like sniping with these arrows. Oh, that's a downer! Come on, go for it. Uh, but even no, I mean even then, that's 28 with, with deep breathing. That's a damage reduction. Yeah. Uh, so also Pony's ang Pony's angles when coming like coming back to stage really good, but you can't overreach there. That's a, uh, that's a frame three in there. Yeah. Right. On, on. The that last should stop. have been a stock for that air dodge, but getting a la a, uh, another breath of life, and this deep breathing is out, yeah. This is also why Sun is a really, it's kind of the main tool for me fit in this matchup, yeah. because it goes through arrows, and it goes through, um, well, fully charged goes through arrows, and boomerang, because header doesn't, so you have to rely on, on Sun most of the time. 
and then header in the few situations where he overextends like that. Gosh. That's tough, though. Yep. What an F-tilt. Long forcing a game five. I imagine we're probably going back to PS2. Uh, I mean, if Long smart, he keeps the ban, but because you don't have to waste a ban on it anymore. It's um, MDSR. Yeah, we're going back to Battlefield. Back to, back to Battlefield. Because once again, it's it's a snowball on the stage, so it benefits both of them, but it's also heavily reliant on whoever gets the lead first. Right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Dang, Pawn starting off with that fire. I like that. Going for the bomb. No shenanigans off that. Hey, Youngling's frame data. Did you did you see last time we were talking about Youngling's frame data? Some guy got mad at us in the chat. Nah, really? Yeah, uh, <laughs> which which is, like, <laughs> he, yeah, Youngling isn't good, but it doesn't mean, well, he isn't, like, he has a hard, hard time with a lot of like the top dudes in this game, but hey, it does not matter when your frame data is that fast. Yeah, he's so good. He's still good, but sure, sure, random uh, YouTube comment. He, he doesn't. He's not top 25. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll see now though how like, like oh like how good those fast uh, aerials and safe aerials are because mm. that combo right there. But combos right into each other. Yeah. The uh, the amount of damage he's able to get off like these combos off when when Oolong is trying to get a uh, hit in. And that's that's like minus two on shield or something. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of safety. And there's, there's the up tilt once again. Oh, I was getting desperate pulling out that Braum and throwing it like that. I, yeah, thought they, I thought he was going to save it for recovery. Yeah, I mean, that time it was really based on if Oolong was going to take a risk of getting it or not. The parry, and there's your, your frame six up tilt. Oh, you got the parry too on the uh, there again, but... Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, that was a really good. Air, that was a really good air dodge from uh, Long. Uh, and also lucky though that it, that the hitbox wasn't behind uh, behind Young at the time because it allowed him to get through and not get grabbed up. There's the header. Oh, can't get. Oh, I can't find another combo. I'm mean, another hit off of that. And just like that, game's even. <laughs> Game is even. These pairs are really helping out with you. That just sucks. Ooh, no bomb there. Yeah. That's a good, really, also really, uh, really good use of fair. Because, you know, if he stays out, he gets hit by the front. If that happens, well, that, you get hit by the back hit. And, that, and that, it's also not like a strong spike, right? But it does not matter when you don't have a jump and you're at that percent. Yeah, seriously. Aaron was clanking. I assume you're trying to parry that because that definitely wasn't close to uh, but it looked like it's going to be parry. Yeah. Ooh. It's also bold because that move is hard to parry, and if you mess up, that Ooh, is shouldn't kill. Right. No, yeah, he's at. That's gonna do it. That's no jump either, right? Bomb. Bomb's gonna go off. No, no jump though. Yeah. So that's gonna be, and that's, that's gonna be good. long with a really that's strong insane. game five. <laughs> that was a good game five. Let's work oh, for you, man. There's a big old bug in here. And another one? Yeah, it flew away. I mean, it's, it's getting warm outside, so it's only about the time. And I'll be right oh, back. Okay. I gotta go to the restroom. I'll be right back. So we are gonna get Coltman, who goes to college in NC, and during like the summer and stuff, lives in Maryland. At least that's what I uh, was able to uh, ask him about. Uh, versus OJ, VA, little oh, VA invader. Usually is like central VA area, but during the uh, when it's like you know school is off and everything, so we're near the season. We're near the point where finals for everyone's pretty much already occurred, unless you're like in a school that has really late finals. Uh, so gonna see a bit more people. Coming at you, and you can push them back with. Um, you can push grenades back with. I'm working for uh, flood, but it's still uh, once again that's a, that's a committable option and could just totally backfire. Right now. Are we gonna get the PS2? We are. So the stage also.
he's in a... Good F tilt, you know. Gonna... Jumping a little bit too much, and there's gonna be Colt Mims with the F tilt. Getting the last hit of it, but that move's still not, still not gonna kill. 21% on uh, of extra credit from Coltman. As, we, as we're gonna find, uh, we're gonna find OJ trying to get like his main combo tools, but having to be specific with them, having to be very uh, tight because once again, it's a frame one grenade escape option as we saw right there. If Snake can, uh, if it's not true, Snake's gonna be able to get out of it. Should be a grab back though, 106%. I want to go for an up to potentially clip, because that'll high up anything, even if it doesn't have that much knockback, anything will take it. What an F-Smash. Shield was low, back against the wall. Why not just pull it? Man, Grenade really just does mess with anything. Because if you grab it too, that's a big part of your combo game is gone. So if you don't activate it and you don't activate it, well, tough luck now. 21%, because now you have to deal with the, uh, with holding it and being able to throw it away. And there we go. There's the flood being able to push it back. I am back. What did I miss? Uh, in uh, weird, weird kill options from both players. Minus an uptilt from Snake because that's oh. okay. yeah. that did not hit. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay good. Snake got it sent on stage there because if that somehow got a kill screen and it sent outwards, that would have been no excuses that was for ever losing a game, OJ. Oh man, uh, I like the follow up from Moza trying to follow up with the dare. And I mean, we've also like, we've seen him use that flood to push back the grenades, right? And I think, I do think Coltman has realized that and it's a little bit, uh, gonna be a bit more cautious, which could be a little bit, what's I'm for, a bit more harmful, because you usually, you know, you're constantly just chucking grenades as Snake usually. Mm -hmm. So if you take a little bit too long to double think, then, uh, what happens to that grenade that you, you normally you do throw, but. Now it's in your hand, right? Right, right. The C4, that is such a great lucky diving from me. You just end up up tilt. tilt. I was wondering if you can just jump for Fleck there, but he also did deal with the potential. I mean, Snake's moves are also fast. They're so fast. They're so fast that, like, for it to be, like, to kill, like, that much power. Tilt is frame four, so it's you can probably react to a jump off ledge. And then, then it's... Hold on, sorry. Um... Uh, So, all right, I have a question. Yeah. The, the, this player, Colton, right? Yes. Who, where's... Like, so he lives here, but he goes to school in North Carolina. That's what I thought. Okay, because okay. I looked up their stat. I looked at the stats, and I saw a bunch of North Carolina. So I was like, yeah, it must be a North Carolina dude that lives, that's going to school out there. So, okay, all right. Yeah, other way around, but... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a sticky. It's a sticky, and it's, well, it's going to be passed off. But it's still, it go? it's it back on, back on oh, OJ. No, it's on, all right, it's on board. So now the question is, is it actually stick on people or does it fall off before? I don't know. Nope, it, he's going to activate it. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure, isn't the fall off like RNG? On, on, no, pick up, the, uh, pick up the grenade there. I'm not going to fall off that platform, but it's still going to be able to get that grab. Uh-oh, we're going to get no get the platform reset on the plat. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. So OJ, as you can just see, right there is a F smash puller. Dude. He will F pull. smash F smash. That is that is the, See? <laughs> the in between F tilt hits? That's okay. insane. And it clanked. That was insane. Uh well okay. Uh, well uh, the thing uh, with Mario F smash is that it's like it's a strong move, but it's also kind of safe. Like if you can get the it didn't actually reflect it is it got the got the attack hitbox so it deactivated it. Wow, what that, a reversal there from OJ. That was a really bold uh it was a really bold attempt to edge guard for both those players. Yeah, what's, yeah, what's going on here, y'all? <laughs> and over that's forty-three percent. Way too much. Yeah, and it's gonna back off there. That's the issue. You have to you have to give up your advantage because of the grenade. Either you have to catch the grenade and it's messing up your combo, or uh, you know you have to deal with. That. Yeah, well, yeah, and you also deal with it blowing up on you, that's, interrupting your uh, combo. Yeah. That's so frustrating. But I... Yeah, because, like, grenades, like, frame one or something, it's frame right? one. Yeah, insane. Which is really stupid. But, um... 
Yeah. Along with a run up, up tilt. OJ Wilder on their last stock. And this this one is starting rather well for OJ. Mm -hmm. And I do think the overextension though on that, uh, we probably could have gotten more percent on the first stock that he had, right? But deciding to go out for an edge guard, and completely missing it and getting hit by an up tilt, I mean, getting hit by an up air from Coltman was kind of a, was a huge momentum blur because you need a lead versus snake. Yes. That's just how this character works. You're able to use uh, use grenades to make any trade in your favor when you're uh, ahead. Uh, but if you have if you have the uh, if you have the lead as like Mario, for instance, any grenade that's pulled to trade in your favor. Right. At least theoretically, right? But there's your up smash, so 88%. So not. Still gonna be a hard, yeah, tough uh, hill for OJ to climb. Especially against the Snake, man. It's just hard. You're right. The trades and just so many factors coming to play against this character. It's it's rough. But I mean, if you're if you if you're OJ, you're you're honestly it's like two more hits before you you're dead, right? Oh no. And they got stuck. That's Boom. that's it. Yeah. Didn't and trade off, and he waited. He waited. He waited because, the air well, dodge. Because you can, you can just wait. Uh, because the second they air dodge, what are they going to do out of it, right? Nothing. <laughs> so you're, you're afraid that he's going to pull it instantly, and then you air dodge, but you're still super high up. So by the time you get out of your air dodge, yeah. there's, that, uh, there's that C4 damage for you. That was a great checkmate from uh, Coltman there. So fantastic way to close out that game, too. It was also good timing for to not transfer. Too. Yeah. Like, that was, like, I think for OJ, if it was like within like half, like it was like another half second pass, give or take, that would have been a trade off. So he would have been able to still live that up tilt. And the PS2 pick is kind of hurting OJ quite a bit. It's hard for him to get in there, right? But it's also just, we're seeing how much Coltman is going to be putting those. Don't do it. Ooh, all right. Good, good tech. But uh, we're seeing yeah, how much Coltman is tech. able to place those, like, that C4 and that grenade on the platforms to really make, or, you know, an already hard job getting in even worse. Yeah. Jump still? I think he's hit. Yeah, he's back. What? Sour Spa, though. Yeah, that was Sour Spa, but it was good. But he's, you're definitely at up tilt range now. Oh, uh, definitely now. Yeah, one. Yeah, it kills at one, one ten, right? Up tilt. A, yeah, I think it's very also it's very character dependent. But on uh, Mario, should good grab. You're so scared in that corner, right? Like, yeah, you can't get around it. Coleman is in so, like so far in control. Like, he's playing mind games on OJ Wilder right now. OJ Wilder don't know how to act. Yeah, and there's their safe and there. there. I mean, for what it's worth, he is getting a lot of damage like on this last. That no uh, good, good DI from uh from Coltman there. Sixty percent. Can you throw it out? You can. He said act activating on himself again. Uh, the up smash. There's a C4 on the right platform, by the way. Let's just keep track of this because this could uh could right see something really stupid or it's just getting blown up randomly when they're both on the left or on the right. The le uh, it's on the left. So it's on the left. And they're both on the right side of the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Should be, I think it's about like another 15, 10 seconds. The until, Nikita, until the Nikita neutral is wild. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? I, I mean, yeah, there it came oh to the play! Oh my goodness! <laughs> this, is, oh, this is a slaughter, man. It, the, the, the back hit of, the back hit of, not even the back hit, the jab clank with f from behind. Down smash. It's a grenade once again, being able to pull it to interrupt anything Mario does. This is insane. Like, what? What does? What is OJ Wilder gonna do? You have to kill him now. now I know it's easy. Like, you know, there it's it obviously okay. yeah. easier said than done. But you have to do. It. You have to minimize as much as the damage as you can. And where is that C4 right now, by the way? Is he I on? lost track of it already. So I can't. Hey OJ, do you mind jumping for a second? Uh, I don't see it on the plans. Are you no try to there. grab a. Uh, I don't think it's on the fire. Yeah, I think it. I don't think it plays down yet. You, that was such a good bait. Oh my god, dude. This man, Coleman, is crazy good. Holy crap. Who is this guy? I mean, he's good. He's, he's good, good, man. This guy's crazy. Sheesh. Uh, I know, I know him a bit more from our Wi-Fi days, but... Gotcha. He's a good player. Uh, yeah, man. I see him, honestly, I think I've seen him compete in Philly a bit. Not in that Philly. much, but... I swear I've seen him at a Bears every, like, once in a while. Could be wrong about that, because he'd make pulling shit out of my ass. I don't know. That was that was that was rough. That was, yeah. I mean, like I was saying before, like when you were when you uh, took a step out, 
that it's hard for Mario to do anything because you're so snubby. Yeah. It, it's, it's like it's like it's also it's also a brawler type character versus a character that will interrupt any brawler type attack. Like. Anyways, that's just. Oh wait. I think I told them that the money's on the table. Um. It's just hard for Mario to do anything in that matchup. We saw when he's able to when he's able to get damage in, he can get it in, but he can't get his kill combos. That's a difference. Like, that's yeah. a difference. Because when we see try him trying to get his kill combos, oh, well, he uh, kind of he's dirt. Wait, who's in grands right now? Who long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> One, I forgot. He, I forgot he was here for a second. All right, Coleman going out. So this is a run back from earlier. Yes. Um, Coleman did not like what? how. Uh, well, because he went Falco game three of that. And upset. it was a lot better. It was yeah. a three. I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it was still a two stock from Pawn. It was, but I just I, for some reason I feel like it was just a little bit better with the Falco. Pawn just just had that that snake like. I feel like in, in MDBA, if you're a character, if you don't know, if there's different like you know. MDV like no one's staying match, but I feel like most of us do. But it's also difficult to your character to do much in the snake matchup, right? And Young right. Link definitely Ooh. can do stuff in the snake matchup. So I don't blame Fultman for having slight trouble with it. And if it's and Young is a tilting character, so if you can do anything to uh, mitigate the tilt, don't blame me for giving it a second, giving it uh, another shot. Good have tilt. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, you said you said Young Wing's a tilted character, but so is Snake. You know what I mean? Snake so. is too, and it's really oh. funny. Like as someone who gets irritated fighting tilting characters as a tilting character player. Yeah, well, like, I wonder how that works. <laughs> well, do they do they well, like? It's, like, it's like, mostly yeah. like a pity thing. It's if I'm suffering, you're suffering too. It's okay. like I, I'm not gonna be only one here not having fun, right? <laughs> uh, Speaking of not having fun, uh, Coleman Could is wait. getting taken for a ride right now. But also getting uh, more damage on Pawn, which is going to be pretty big because Young Link, we're in that range where should, up tilt should just confirm that anything. But I oh, don't that remember if Pawn had a, had a Falco. That's Bomb. That's it, that's bomb. It. Jump, no, we didn't go off in time. Uh, Pawn had a Falco problem for a while, I'm pretty sure. Did he really? I'm pretty sure he did, or he either, he either had a Falco. Someone in the region had a Falco problem. Um, and. Pawn had something to do with the Falco. I'm not sure if the Falco was a problem or if he had a secondary Falco. It's one of the two. It's one of the uh, okay. two. But, so I don't, uh... I'm trying to think, so I'm pretty sure he did. He used to have, like, struggle versus some Falco. But either way, uh... Ooh. That Ooh. just called it out. Reversal. That just called it out. Great. Using the mid-air jump from Falco. Oh the Falco was good, man. Like, man. It's insane. What a call-out from Colt in there, man. That was fantastic, taking that game one. The overextension from Pawn is something that we didn't, we can't really... Sang doesn't have tools from the front, right, to punish you if you uh, try, like, edge guarding him like that. Mm -hmm. It's you pull a grenade or hope that you can get an air dodge out before. Pretty much. Um, Falco, on the other hand, <laughs> jump height is quite big. Yeah, he's got the highest jump height, right? So it's, either him or, it's either him or the ninja. I think, I think he has the highest mid-air jump. Um... Both players kind of keeping it slow. I'm not gonna lie, it may be too early to call it, but it kind of looks like Coleman has to figure something out. Some, like figure something out. It's way too early to call. Yeah. But this is looking a lot better than that first set. Another, see, like these reflectors are coming out, and oh no, what an air dodge is still getting caught by the back air though. That's unfortunate. Oh, I was trying to uh, potentially get something on the off a roll in. Yeah. Can't go above ledge there. Fire. <laughs> what? I don't think that's safe enough on hit that you can't punish that instantly if you have like a fast move like Young Yeah, I just I don't, don't think Pawn was ready for I don't, that. Yeah, I was just about to say Pawn was ready for that. Good, uh, good DI on the up air there. Yeah. Instantly blow up. And finding the back air, Coleman on the board again with his first stock. But uh, 115, oh my goodness, that was almost. Yo, Coleman is really like figuring this out. This, this is really like entertaining to watch. I love watching this kind of stuff. And I think also the stage is a big part of it too, because yeah. you know you have it's a bigger stage, uh, which should make mean theoretically that you know you live longer, which is not wrong. But with a um, 
it also means more space to run around as Falco. And Falco is not necessarily, uh, he's doesn't have the burden of a small jump height, right? With right, right. Other, other, other characters do. So he can, like, simply just jump over your projectiles rather than have to go through it. Right. And plus, frame one reflector is awesome for him. You know. Speaking of that reflector, that was low. Uh, speaking of that reflector, it's kind of making, like, Copen's kind of been guessing correctly on a lot of those lately. And is it's this off? So that was close. Um, it's starting to make Palm Master kind of, like, like, slow up, like, ease up on the projectiles. I mean, yeah, uh, if you have a frame one reflector, I don't blame you. Because it's yeah. like, it only is a frame one, but it's also active. Even when it's like returning, it, it still, still has, has active a hitbox. Yeah, so when you start connecting like that, everyone thinks twice about those projectiles. And Colvin finding that up smash, that was a great punish there. And we're even stocks. Oh, man. Yo, Pawn with these strings is still going. That was so close. I wish, I really wish the Pawn would, because that would have been a clip. 100%. Well, he's still in the sludge trap. We can cut it, you know. A little, bit, a little bit of TikTok Photoshop. A little bit of TikTok magic. Just kill screen. <laughs> yeah. Thank us later, uh, VGBC account manager. That's, that's, that's it. That's it, yeah. That was a really good shield from Pawn realizing that, oh, wait. There's... I can just drop shield down. Yeah, that was good. All right, game two going to Pawn. And uh, did we go back to PS2? I did not look. I looked away. I mean, obviously we've seen how okay that uh, okay, a uh, Coltman is with PS2. Yeah, we're going back to PS2. We've seen how okay he is with it. Uh, I see it. But uh, yeah, with with um. I mean, we, it's this combo game. Like, this isn't like a, it's it's also so obviously good. isn't something that's not like, you know, it's not unfamiliar. It's not super unfamiliar, right? Right. Like, I think I heard him say something about it not being like a fully developed character of his, which would I feel like kind of makes sense. We haven't, I just, you know, that set against, uh, the first set against Bomb was the first time I ever heard about it. So it went to Perez and he also hasn't pulled it out for like, uh, I'm trying to think. Actually, I think no one else in this track can really give trouble like that, right? Because he has the beat pink 3-0 as well, so. Yeah. Oh, and that, that, there was that, uh, wow. There was that threat of down you were talking about. Which, I mean, you still be get a punish off of there. But, hey, he second guessed it. He's been, like I said, he's been getting a lot of those correctly. And that's not going to be the stock, but that's going to be big damage keeping Falco off stage. Oh, I think, wait, and you're fine, but that, if that hit, you definitely weren't fine. <laughs> yeah. And, and what a reversal. Because Pond had no jumps, so he was able to, he had to, he had to just go up instantly because he had no real angle to make it back otherwise. And Coltman being aware of it and deciding to punish him because he didn't snap ledge. Finding that up tilt. Yeah, you're just gonna stand back in this corner because realistically, you don't have much that's like, going for you right now. That's gonna be it. Yeah. All right. But I guess at this point, like, go full send, right? You already lost the stock. And Pawn yeah. only at 5%. Like, this is such a great lead. This is when, like, if I were up there, like, I'd start getting in my head because he's up two stocks and he's just now getting to 50%. Or not two stocks, he's up a stock. Yeah, it's one of the. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing like a hard read come out soon. Although, the way this is going, he doesn't. He's not going to need one. If he, can, if he can complete this edge guard right now, going too low, you can just get yeah, drop down that. Look, kind of surprised. Yo, Han could just hit him when he's going. He's coming up with that upbeat, right? That's stock. Yeah, that's it, a stock. you don't see that one super often. But when you do, it's always a great sign. Yeah. I kind of feel like Pawn's, like, like I, I assume Pawn's getting afraid to throw out these projectiles, but at the same time, It's not such a even big a part bit. of Young Link's neutral. You kind of can't be, right? Like, yeah, you yeah. Can, well, because also then it's like, he's still actively committing to that, that, uh, that, that, that reflect. And we, uh, ooh.
right. Game two, game three going to Master. OJ up there, stealing something. <laughs> Get him! He stole, he stole the T.O. money. He stole the T.O. money. Get him! <laughs> Them darn Virginians. Wait, did the generic Michael compete today? Yeah. He uh, lost to Coltman in winners and then lost to Conquidor for losers. Wow. For ninth. Yeah. What a win. Yeah, I mean, okay, you should have seen it. Conky was at ledge going for an entire minute. Got off ledge one time and won. And killed him. Yeah, they won game three because he got, he got a hold of banana. And forced Generic to go to ledge. Generic got up. Kong just threw the banana down on his feet. It caught Generic. He just instantly turned around and down smashed it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Also, that's dead. Ooh, <laughs> what an early stock there from Pawn. And this is like the snowball uh, of Young Link, right? It's a totem character. Not only did you, you know, not only did you get zero death boost against any characters on a site you ever want to see, right? But against Young Link? That's a, that's a horrible sight to see. For the what a, what a grab. Yeah, that was, yeah. Missing that dare going for the grab. Oh, a little Pulling too early. Too early. Trigger pull. I think Loki kind of surprised he's able to do a drop down F tilt there. But they would do it with them. Down tilt, not enough to take the stock. Ooh, dropping that shield a little too early. It's off stage. No jump, no jump. Yeah, just gonna wait. Hands there. off my down smash. Ah, oh, the classic. <laughs> I do like uh, Coleman's knowledge of Young Link, obviously, to not try to punish anything. <laughs> right. Young Link, if you're in a corner, just to get out of dodge, that should be like your go-to option because we've seen how much Pawn likes to use that Nair at, after like one after another. It's like, oh, you, you're trying to parry my Nair? Here's another one. Frame three. Um, it's so it's such a safe move. So like when when Pawnmaster throws out the like the double triple quadruple nairs, like I'm not even mad at him. Like I well, do the same thing. But, <laughs> but oh, you wanted to wait there. You wanted like an air dodge for fun. The nair's gonna send the other way right now. Fire! Trying to get an F tilt potentially. Trying to catch a. And you even see, uh, Coleman is just back. He knows that if he. If he gets anything hard there, uh, that's a stock. Even if that fair whiffs from a top, that could have been a bigger punish. That was a dash grab. Uh, but if you know if the fair whiffs, he can just drop down an air and vice versa. That was an insane arrow, by the way, to, for for momentum, and he couldn't get the back air. That's up. Uh, that's gonna be a no back air. Yeah, it's gonna be a little, a little bit too high percent. Looks like. Yeah, possibly. Trying to get a. What a what trying to get option. trying to use the wall jump there to um to do a reverse nair, but unfortunately gonna fall out of it. It's gonna hit the ground super early. So that down, that down tilt, man. That's so strong. That's so strong. And I think he's you still because laser is a laggy move. That is a you don't uh you don't get the benefit of there being like a hitbox. Oh, you do, unlike on the actual thing like you do with uh, Wolf, that's bad. You read out directly into the, Ooh, yeah, the, 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 the right sweet spot down air. Into the sweet spot down air. Pawn taking that 3 1. Man. All right, grab the money on the table. Grab the money on the table. All right. You want to go it. up there, Sean? I can just do it from here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Is, is he. All right. So we're gonna get Pawn versus uh. This is Grant, right? Yeah. We're gonna get Pawn versus Oolong. I so I think Oolong's gonna run away with this, but it's too soon to call I, it. Yeah. I, don't know, I feel like Oolong. We saw how like game. Did he grab the money? I think so. Did he? Is there an envelope in his hand? If he if he comes up to me or something yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, it's all it's all good. I shall go check myself. Just I don't want to run up like. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you go over there and talk to him. All right, Oolong versus Pawn, Master Pawn, and Losers. Pawn is doing fantastic these last uh, couple Xandus. And like I was saying earlier, uh, Pawn had a couple wins at UMD Fest. Uh, I think they're the TO. Eh, maybe not the TO, but uh, they went to that school, so they're very familiar with that, uh, that area. And. Um, yeah, Pawn uh, has been winning a lot of UMD Fest. And then coming to Xanadu and just, you know, applying the skills over here. So. so it's looking like we're waiting on Oolong. Oolong could be anywhere.
Yeah, I have no clue where Oolong is. I'm I'm interested, man. That Col that Coleman dude is pretty dope, man. That was a good gameplay, even though I, I I can't stand the player snake. That was a that was good stuff to watch, man. Uh, and Oolong is making his way to the stage. Stop Here we go. No, 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 no. Oolong, no, this isn't no. UMD. No. No, no. <laughs> All right, Oolong's coming with the pit. So, so these two are UMD suits. They, Oolong doesn't go to fest as much. Pa the pawn is like a, a yeah. I was just saying a, that. He is like a fest. Uh, he just goes like every week. Um, it, it, like Z or, I was gonna say Zexy. Uh, pawn master's been winning like every every fest well, like in a row. Yeah, he's. I think he you, you will usually use it to um usually use the brackets like characters and then like it's like oh now I have to fight Turtle King for the fifth week now let's let's do some let's run some serious sets right yeah because uh, they're both like players who respect each other they also both want to win <laughs> so uh but Oolong is Oolong at the point of his side career he knows that if he goes his main he's going to win right and he uh but I also don't know how much how many UMD fest he's been to in the last. Like, I know he went to like a few, but I don't know if he's been to any recently. I mean, the last one was last Friday. He went there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, so what? I know because he, he he just like does life stuff on or on Fridays instead of going out instead of going to fest. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to do yeah normal. Good attack! Stuff. And what a tech from Oolong in reversing that! Oh my goodness, that was fantastic from Oolong. <laughs> Crazy. Stay back! Stay back! And that's damage on the board right there for a long. And I do like this use of uh, Downbeam. Me too. I was just about to say that. Because he's not I love I love that star tail. Anyway. No, uh, yeah. Wulong's uh yeah, down B placement is good and barely avoiding that hook shot. That's that was an unlucky shield drop there, but you didn't get a hitbox that allowed you to uh continue the combo. Where you probably may have been able to, but you would have had to be really aware of that. Right. Actually poking or him putting down the shield. Oof. Farm Master was kind of on pit there for a second, but then backed off at the last second. I, I kind of like Ulong's pit, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is I mean, Ulong's, Ulong's a good player. He knows that's that. No, it's not. Um, he's a good player. He knows how to, you know. He's pretty much everybody. Yeah. Like I said, he will go to like best to get the best around, so it wouldn't surprise me. Nah, no, you're at. Oh, yeah. You were at like one. That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. Yeah, you were at like 130 from like underneath the platform. That move doesn't even go like a 130 at the ledge. Like, F though, does it. And there's these combo strings. Once again, there's your frame three. There's your frame three. Uh, what, a, what a grab. In the corner, just, you know, you get up there, just grab. Oh. Grab there, so dash tag. I like that option. Good ah, jump on, being on, burned. on there. Oh, trying to catch. Just yeah, just do that. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. All right. So I, well, I mean, okay, okay, his last time was game five, right? So I know Ulong has an extra to play with. Yeah. But if you let's just, I mean, the bad thing is like, even if you like, decide, oh, I'm just gonna go pit this set, whatever, right? Last time was still game five. Like it was a close. I would definitely. Game five wasn't. Game five wasn't really close, but it was a game five set that showed. Stop he's putting it away. He's putting it away. Yeah. I see. <laughs> he went. Nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I mean, the pit was. I, I do like it. It was cooking for a little bit, and then it had some ideas, but it became clear that it was an idea. Yeah, an idea yeah, character, not a character. Not a character. He actually did put into action. Right. We're back on PS2. It's just, I remember. What an SDI for that. Because he was... Yep. Yeah, that should have been a lot more damage from that rabbit jab. Yeah, double nair up there, there. And that hit ferret. Oof, still going. Huh? Okay, so he's breathing this on deck, and what an easy, quick stop for Oolong. So, I did say earlier that, oh, he lost both games on uh -oh, PS2 uh -oh. last, uh... 
Oh, did it? Was didn't get a good angle on it there. Uh, could have waited, but better to better not to. Just gotta get a ball there and try to get something started rather than not. Trying to catch something there. I don't know why he shield grabbed when they were both like a character length, like multiple character lengths away. Usually Ulong is rather precise with his like F tilt uh, ledge. Ooh, that. What a reversal. I thought Ulong was gonna get. Wow. Jeez. Holy okay. Crap. I thought Ulong was gonna get punished for missing that tech, and now nah, he reversed it. Oh, there's the shield. Yeah, yeah. It's shout, out, shout out to like Pedro's having shields. Oh, wait. He's dead. No He's way. dead. No, oh, what? Ulong. Recovery. Okay, so Ulong's getting back to stage there. Uh, Ulong's got three lives. You can kind of mess around. No way that up till sweet. Got the sweet spot. They're not. <laughs> Yo. Well, actually, it. it had to have been because there's no front hitbox, it's just that. No way it hit is my point, there's no front hitbox on it. Chasing him. Nah. Gary, that's gonna. No. Decent DI from Pawn. Can you just. You oh, messed up! No. But you just have uh, tilted. He, he Frame 6! Anyway, Frame like, 6! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let that trigger pull a little too soon. And he had a lot of rage, so that rage probably wouldn't have killed. Yeah. But with rage, yeah. Alright. I wonder if uh, <laughs> I wonder if Ulong's gonna pull out another character. Nah, Ulong, yeah, Ulong's yeah, Ulong's like, right. he knows he wants to clean this I'm ready, up. I'm ready to go home. I'm getting a little tired. I want this, I want let me get this. We spread. may end before eleven. Yeah. With forty something people tonight, by the way. Let's click bracket. He's the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. Uh However, I do I do say that and there's a chance that this goes longer than it is. There's a there's a possibility. There's a possibility. Oh, going a little bit too low as uh for going a little too low uh to get the uh, to get the uh, down air there. What are you reading? What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I, I don't, don't think. Okay. To be fair, it's also a weak fit F smash. There is the back hitbox. I don't think it's the worst idea. Foot Um, uh, I don't think it's the worst idea. That's what stop. a back air. Yeah. Get back. Frame five back air. That's thirty-two percent. Good. Good. Up here into F so that's sixty-three. Okay. Eesh. Oh, trying to catch him there. Uh, you know, don't to get around it. Why are you grabbing? Nice. And there's that air, uh, air kill for you. Okay, I kind of like what uh, Pawn's cooking right now. Well, because even on top of that, you know, you're getting his damage in right, but <sighs> you have to F tilt that Oolong uh, oh. left. You have to fair that. Dropping but, that shield a little um, too soon. Is he wasted all of Oolong's deep breathing there? Yeah, that was great. So, not only did you, get, you got damage in, but you just, there was no, there was no deep breathing when Oolong got off that stage and put himself back into disadvantage. Good jump. Uh, good jump. That was a okay, fantastic jump call out. Like I said, normally Oolong is pretty good with, like, hitting those consistently, so. I thought that would have also hit. You went underneath the arrow. You went yeah, underneath the arrow with dash attack. The back air. Frame five here made out of shield. Bomb didn't save him, but it was dash attack south yeah. spot. But you also take so much damage. That sucked. Yeah, you you got the air dodge there. How long is cooking? Oh my god. Even with like him playing, he's like he's playing rather slower, especially compared to last game, right? I guess. <laughs> Regardless, it's, like, it's still but it's like awareness. It's a, it's a slow, it's a slow. Well, burn. I said that. I'm pretty sure you lost the jump there. Good air dodge out of that, but getting caught by the grab anyway. I don't. I think like Young Link as like a frame trap monster wouldn't be that bad if he didn't have a under grab. Right? Like, it's like, because imagine like he tried to do that right, but he. Oh, that should have just been the stock, but I like, can't imagine he tried to like tech chase with that, that that grab, right? But he just put it the hand reach one. Yeah. But who knows? He's kind of small and fast, so it's hard to edge guard this character. It's super hard to edge guard this character. Cause I feel like if it was if it was a bit easier, we would have seen Oolong take. We, we probably would have been in game three. They're just they're 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 swinging! <laughs> sun, sun wooden box! Um, <laughs> they're punching <in> there. <laughs> no, not Casper! 
Oh, Good nice grab. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a landing there either, so. And then the catch with the dash attack. Oh my goodness. Oolong is not playing around, man. Jeez. This is so crazy. It's like, he, it's like Oolong will start to like struggle a little, right? Yeah. But then he gets one advantage to it. And then he just it runs away with it. He, yeah, he's just able to... Uh, He's able to make the most of the make most of his advantage states, and especially when he has deep breathing, because um, what well, we saw normally well, normally we just saw Long choose to stay at ledge, try to maybe catch a bad recovery from Han, right? But that time he chased him and he made him waste his air dodge, and then he still chased him. <laughs> yeah, Ulong, like Ulong's really good at setting up these checkmate situations, man. Like these are technically both like trapper characters, and I, I would say Young Link is. The matter of the two, but yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> definitely is. I don't know, man. Just Oolong makes you Oolong, reconsider. Oolong is really good at a game today. Nah, that's not. Good. It's not that good. <laughs> uh, but I mean, cause we, there's like we could, one of the things you were always talk about. We could, oh, but we could keep it. It can't be bad. And like that's mostly wrong. But Oolong doesn't. Oolong doesn't uh, follow that. <laughs> he uh, will definitely make the most of his deep breathing uses. Which you know makes a little sketch of action somewhat viable. Oof. Come on, going up there with that fair. Get a little greedy there. I like that slip off from we to go back off stage. Great retreat. And not oh. finding the dare. Yeah, we on you long rolling closer to the like uh, the edge of the platform. I don't know how long we that was not Ooh. meant, but that could have been a bit worse for Oolong, but getting away with it there. Up right, tilt. Getting up called down tilt, up air. Coming down. Oh, but you can't. Yeah, you land on the ground. There's no there's no good ground hit box for it. If you get hit by it when you're not in the air. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Jeez. Bad recovery, but pretty linear at some It's points. a massacre out here, man. Alright, Pawn's gotta get something cooking. Hurry up and take the stock okay, at least. If, if, yeah, if you can't do that, you're just gonna let Weefit run away with us. You able to oh. but it still got through! Oh my goodness. That's that's so frustrating. I'm mad for you, Pawn. I'm yeah. mad for you. And, like, Pawn is someone whose mentality in the game has. has. Uh, has. Or, like, been quite strong recently. Like, he's been something he's definitely worked on, like, improving. Yeah. And he, we've seen, like, the progress he's made from it. Definitely. But you're fighting against a weak fit who. Come on, you've, you've gotten hit by some shenanigans. They just Jeez. fell out of it! Did you? <laughs> Jeez! Oh my god! They fell out of it! Cooks! They fell out of it! They were in there! Stick a fork in him because he's done! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, okay, that's Yo. Oolong winning the grind and <laughs> ends at 11. Who else but <laughs> Goat Tio? Oh. Um, Jeez! Jeez. I know I'm the best. It's a Friday night. It's a Friday night. We're not gonna night. hold it's you. Eleven o'clock. Like, we're gonna hold you guys for long. Yeah, man. Uh, what's the the hill on fr the hill on Sunday? Hill on Sunday. MDVA Town gonna be there. I think it's yes. District E. It's Thought District E. DC. Yeah. yeah. That, free, by the yeah. way. Uh, free to, free to enter one thousand dollar prize pool in DC. So check it out. Yes. Uh, I don't have anything. To Arcadian. Uh, Arcadian. Sign up for Arcadian. There we go. Twenty fifth. Sign up. 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 Bread and butter. Up. May eighteenth. And I. Yes. We're at whatever. Legends is VG Bootcamp on TikTok. Woo! There, here we go. I think we covered everything. I think we covered all bases. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for spending your Friday night with us. Peace out. Do you hear that voice crack? Thank you.